All right, guys, here we are at a, a place that they call for the sea lake because it's the deepest, it's as, <laughs> they say it's as deep as the sea. So it's the deepest one in, uh, in Vietnam. What is this cow one? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was on the way. Uh, we're going to, uh, to a city called Ko Tum, where we, uh, we're going to spend the night. Uh, and then tomorrow, um, yeah, we head further. Uh, we've also heard that uh, the road may be blocked several places because of fallen trees that's still not cleaned up and landslides after the, the hurricane, uh, sorry, the typhoon hit. Um, hopefully we'll be lucky though. But yeah, let's check this place out. I love the people in these local places. I mean, they're all so friendly. <laughs> it's, it's great, it really is. And check this building. It's very nice. <laughs> so, we just drove by this uh, bridge and I absolutely had to check it out. And look at this, there's actually a guy coming over there on his scooter.
So as you've seen, then we've been driving through this amazing scenic landscape uh, almost all day. Now, I gotta say, I'm starving. So we started at this very <laughs> local looking place. Check it out behind me. Uh, to get some lunch now. And uh, yeah, after that, we, we once again head on. at the waterfall uh, and they actually call this the man these are loud sorry uh, just gonna let this guy talk anyways they call this the scorpion waterfall uh, I mean there is a slight resemblance like uh, I kind of get it have a look at this right you can somewhat see the claw here and another claw and then the head and then the tail It, it, it works for me. I get it. <laughs> Anyways, let's head down there. special place in my heart. It really will. It's wonderful. Anyways, now we are now we are done and we will uh, and we will move on. Not exactly sure where the next stop will be. I guess we'll just find out on the way.
all live in, in bamboo houses, but they still all drive a scooter. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just not something you see anywhere else in the world, I think. Anyways, I'm getting way too far away right now. I have to start turning back. Yeah, I think uh, out of all the days I've been in uh, Vietnam till now, today is definitely the hottest. I don't know exactly how many degrees it is, but uh, it's freaking hot. It really is. But yeah, we are soon uh, at the village where we're gonna spend the night. And uh, once we get there, I guess um, we're gonna see uh, <laughs> if we can find a place to sleep. Because I don't think anything's booked, so we'll see what happens, I guess. But the guy said that um, it shouldn't be a problem to find something at all, because I'm just gonna change channels or the noise. I know this sounds weird. And, uh, yeah, the guy said it shouldn't be a problem because there's never any tourists here. I'm also curious to see what I'm actually gonna sleep in if it's another bamboo hut like it were a couple of days ago or, uh, or like last night because last night it was super nice. I mean the bamboo hut is nice too. I actually loved that. Um, but it's just funny how uh, uh, somewhat random <laughs> it is. But yeah. Anyways, enjoy the views of this place because I know I am. I'll Remove my face from the camera, don't worry. <laughs> I wanted to add one more thing. I said a couple of days ago, back when we were still in the Trang, that uh, I was really looking forward to getting out of the touristic places so I could see the real Vietnam. And to me, this is the real deal. There's rice fields, uh, buffaloes, or whatever these cows are. <laughs> uh, mountains behind me and it's, it's amazing, really. Yeah, I, I really, really think it is. I'm so sad because most people who travel Vietnam, they will go and they will just take buses along the coastline and they they don't get the same experience but yeah I guess it's always like that so to anyone watching if you're planning to go Vietnam head north but away from the coast go central <laughs> So for the night, it is definitely no bamboo hut. I mean, once again, I got a very nice room for the night. And the prices are so cheap, it's 200, no, less than 200,000 down for a night. I mean, it's literally nothing. For the people at home, that's like 50 crowns. And uh, yeah, I got in, threw everything <laughs> from my backpack onto the bed and took off my shorts because I am sweating. <laughs> in all honesty and look check this we even have a balcony and it is super nice the view is pretty freaking fine uh, I hope that didn't make any stupid sound now hopefully I can stop using my GoPro soon
go back to um, to my normal uh, Canon camera. But yeah, that's what we got. And that ain't bad at all. I'm gonna call it a day though. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys all for watching and uh, I hope you will join me again tomorrow. Tomorrow we will uh, go to Hoi An, uh, where we will spend the next couple of days and see what that city has to offer, because it's supposed to be really beautiful. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh yeah, and don't forget, uh, if you liked it, click that like button and subscribe. Alright, I'll see you in the next one.